The ulnar nerve supplies the third and fourth lambricles of the hand, which originate from the tendon of the flexor digitorum profundus. The nerve also supplies the palmar and dorsal interossei. With the paralysis of the interossei muscles, the flexion of the metacarpal phalangeal joint is weakened, leading to the unopposed hyperextension of these joints by the extensor muscles. Additionally, with the paralysis of the interossei and the lumbricals, the extension of the proximal interphalangeal joints and the distal interphalangeal joints are weakened, leading to the unopposed flexion of those joints by the flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis. This results in the partial claw hand appearance of the fourth and fifth digits. In order to have a complete claw hand appearance of all the digits, both the median and ulnar nerves need to be affected. This is because the median nerve supplies the first and second lumbricals of the first and second digits, whilst the ulnar nerve supplies all the palmar and dorsal interossei in the hand. Both groups of muscles need to be affected to have the classical claw hand deformity.